Welcome to Raffle Waffle of Bitch Hills. <laughs> On today's episode, we're trying an idea straight out of Lofi's brain. Yay! It is coffee creamer waffles. <laughs> we have uh, pumpkin spice. We got some of that chocolate peppermint. Uh, we got some Oreo and some red velvet. <laughs> I think I'm gonna start with the Oreo. I can't I can't deep dive right into the pumpkin spice. I've pre-prepared all of our dry and liquid ingredients. Yay. So here's our egg with our oil. And we're gonna put it says about a third of a cup is ideal, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see how much how much it needs. I guess we just should take a swig to see. <laughs> yeah, it's rich. It's wow. very rich. I think you could just throw this in an ice cream maker and make amazing ice cream. That sounds like a great fucking idea. Hmm. Yes. Is there any potential disaster from a high fat content of a creamer? Anything we'd put in here would be exactly the same. The one sort of caveat is the sugar content, actually. <laughs> Look at it! Look at it just kick out steam! Here we go! Mario! <laughs> Mario! 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 Wow, that's a great looking waffle! We're gonna let that sit, and I'm gonna go ahead and make my second waffle. Yay! And that is... A pumpkin spice! Pumpkin spice! Look, 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 look! Ooh! Like a gentleman. And pop it and lock it. Flip it. Bop it. <laughs> Twist it. <laughs> Bump it. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to pull it. <laughs> it's very pumpkin-y for a creamy product. Oh. <laughs> You're coming up with some really uh prima donna looking waffles like these are great waffles those are some looking. excellent excellent texture for a waffle here's my first waffle the uh, oreo waffle and what i'm gonna do for a uh, syrups to enhance it you gotta get some chocolate on there Ooh. oh that's chocolate. boom my booty is chocolateicious and then some whip. Whip! Oh. So the batter itself is really light and airy. It makes it an amazing vessel for whipped cream and chocolate. <laughs> so it's just kind of light, fluffy cake with a very crispy outside to it, crunchy, crispy. It's actually really nice. It's it's very, very nice. Oh. And it's not like light and airy in a, you know, diet sort of way, which could easily become like a gluten-free kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's just that for some reason, it just has that sort of texture. This makes me happy looking at it. <laughs> that adds a little subtlety and depth to a regular waffle. That would kind of make it seem like kind of a s'more sort of thing, but more chocolatey and less graham crackery. And it tastes delicious. I like this one. You can tell that 
in fine tuning, maybe there would be parts of it that might be uh, a little cooked less. But that's probably because of the, all the extra sugar. And even at the state that it's currently at, it's really great. So I'm not going to say that uh, overcooking any sugar has made it too burnt or anything because it really didn't. And the chocolate syrup that's on top of there really mixes that um, semi-burnt flavor into a more developed flavor. And I'm really happy with it. And uh, yeah, full approval. This is my pumpkin spice. So what I'm gonna do is use my a pumpkin spice whipped cream. <laughs> okay, now, okay, now me, um, now me. Um, I think what will go good with that, caramel. <laughs> that's, that's real good. <laughs> no shit, pumpkin spice waffles, everybody. Waffle of the summer, even though it's winter and fall and shit. <laughs> I don't know what it is. There's something about the creamer that changed the texture of the waffle just enough. I don't know if it's the amount of sugar or whatever, but it's amazing. Mm. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. It's like waffle via by like zucchini bread. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like zucchini bread is amazing. But it's also like mixed with dulce de leche. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, there is enough caramel flavor in here to really um, kind of take that pumpkin spice flavor to the next level. And it's really great. And I love it. It's real good. Yeah. We gotta give wholehearted approval on this one. This is a top tier uh, waffle. It, it just needs to be served with like some bacon or something and you would be absolutely ecstatic about this. Pretty excited about this waffle. Gotta give it wholehearted approval. Mm. Luffy, your yes. turn. It is my turn. And what should we start with? Other than Pink's favorite, some peppermint. How dare you? We love peppermint around here, don't we? Peppermint is bullshit. Folks at home, why don't you go ahead and contest Pink on his hatred of peppermint. But how about we test the effectiveness of a peppermint waffle? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gotta find out. Uh, I am much less offended by I remember peppermint. they got a foil cap in there. You got yeah, it. especially because we got like a little barrier here that Pink put in place so they couldn't get to our delicious <laughs> peppermint goodness. It's honestly probably better as a straight creamer than mixed with anything. You think so? Yeah. It's going to taste better. Oh my God. Chugged right out of the bottle. Chugged? Uh-huh. Chugged was the ver verb we're using. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> chug it, chug it, Luffy. No! Chug the, chug it, Rook. A, a serving size is one tablespoon. <laughs> Are we prepared to guess how many calories is in one tablespoon? <laughs> Four. <laughs> I might chug the rest of the 800. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Gross. Okay. Oh, my God. It's I'm so gonna, good. I'm going to try it. It's so fucking good. Oh, it brings me to my knees. It's so good. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the mm. thing. It doesn't taste like mint anymore. It tastes, it tastes like, like butter milk mints. Dinner mints. Yes, dinner mints. They are precisely measured so that all you have to do is add your creamer. Yeah. We. <laughs> and. Yep. Yeah. Don't, don't worry about waffle. getting it all on there because it all it shoots out the sides. We've done that already. What have you done? I don't know. But we're about to find out. Oh, oh God, pop, look, pop, there it comes. Pop it and lock it. Oh, God. I 
Okay, so this waffle has been at it for a while, and the steam of it is burning my fingers. But look at that! Is that not cool? Ooh, That's good. We some weapons. We got a little uh, fault waffle, in the waffle right there. Waffle, 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 waffle. <laughs> Woo! One piece. You like that? What's the One other side look like? And oh god, it's a perfect waffle! Ah! <laughs> Alright, Lofi, your final waffle. Uh-huh. I don't get to shake it. I would shake it real good. We can already tell it's not red, though. Oh. oh Which yeah. is a little it's disappointing. Great. Is it good? Is it good? Is it good? Give me that! Mmm! <laughs> oh. How did they make it taste like actual cake? I don't know. So, a third of a cup. Whoa! Careful! Calm down! We're not whisking, there you go. we're folding. We're folding. folding, folding. I know from previous experience that this is going to be an underwhelming experience unless we add more chocolatey flavor. So we're yeah. gonna try to do that. If it doesn't work out, hey, we uh, we took the gamble and lost. Yeah. But. You could probably just add some chocolate syrup in there too. This could be a win. I wanna add a, mm -hmm. enough of this. And what is the red velvet flavor? It's just chocolate cake, that's it. Doesn't it have like some fake white frosting in there or something? Well, I mean, that's usually what you put on a velvet cake. Yeah, cream cheese, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But red velvet is just red food colored chocolate. Soupy. It's a little soupy, Lofi. It's soupy. We are shooting the moon <laughs> here. All right. It's got good coverage. All right. God speed, Red Velvet. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Well, there's that. The Red Velvet Waffle. Ew. Looks kind of nice. Yeah, we should put some red food coloring in there. I know, right? You got a peppermint white chocolate. Do you have a peppermint white chocolate waffle? That's a tough flavor to come through on like a hefty pastry, right? Mm. Let's see if anything comes through. <laughs> Jesus! Whoa. Whoa! Your floor, your 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 <laughs> countertop is getting a lot of extra loving tonight, and I apologize. If you were to tell me that this is a peppermint waffle. I would call you a dirty, dirty liar because I taste nothing of peppermint in here. This will, this will just be a regular waffle. Right now it just tastes a little extra sweet and the whipping on top makes it more palatable but it is not distinguishable as a peppermint uh, waffle and that makes me real sad. <clears throat> it all cooked out. I can't even dis... I can't even... Um, tell that there could possibly be some uh, peppermint in here. That's a rough one. Gotta give that two thumbs down. <laughs> peppermint. Do you taste any peppermint at all? But I do taste a pretty good uh, waffle mix. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like a good waffle. It's a good waffle, it's a little spongy. I'm not detecting anything that is specifically Peppermint, much like the pumpkin spice whipped cream, we we need a peppermint uh, whipped cream. But so what does that say? That says that this ingredient has no efficacy. It's just a first multiplier. That's all I'm saying. But as a waffle, it's okay. But as a peppermint waffle, yeah, no, it's yeah. nothing. It's nothing. That, no, that's it's not terrible. nothing. A little bit of this. God, <laughs> what? What? Hey, stop! Oh my god! We're doing diarrhea. We're doing creamy diarrhea now. <laughs> there we go. So if red velvet is gonna come forward at all in this yeah. waffle, it's gonna be here. Heck with yeah. these two very supporting uh complimentary accessories. Yeah. Okay. I specifically think I can taste the red velvet cake. Amongst both of these toppings, which are very plentiful, 
Mm -hmm. Look at what I got going on here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very, very uh, liberal toppings of these whipped cream and chocolate syrup. I could get through this whole thing, but I, I'm, I'm being honest here, some red food coloring would probably make it all more visually appealing. Uh -huh. Mwah. Out of this pale waffle, I am detecting chocolate cake. But that's the appeal of red velvet, right? Mm -hmm. It's very nice. You just have a velvet cake chaser. <laughs> mm, you're in a good spot. But we all know the best option is right here. <laughs> Pumpkin spice with. Is it <laughs> the highest top that you can make a topping? No. <laughs> oh my god! Yes! Yes! So thank you everybody for coming to Ruffle Waffle. We do appreciate it. I hope you like the spread we had today, but if you have any other suggestions for waffles, please let us know in the comments down below. And while you're at it down there, why don't you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know whatever we're doing next. Uh, hit the uh, additional media links so you can see what else we're doing and check out uh, me over on twitch.tv forward slash Loki Molasses. You can see me streaming almost every night and check out our merch shop while you're at it too. Buy those pillows, buy those flags, buy those snuggies. <laughs>